So Toronto traffic is at its absolute worst right now. And on top of the city opening back up and getting lively again, the Ontario line is coming into play and it has streets absolutely ripped up. Let's take a look at what the Ontario line is and why it matters for the city of Toronto. I'm Michael Luzes, I'm a realtor in the Greater Toronto Area, and in this video we're going to talk about the Ontario Line. It's going to connect the west to the east and all the way up to the Ontario Science Centre. This is a massive project by Metrolinx, and it's going to be awesome for commuters. Before we get started, throw a comment down below and let me know what you think of Toronto traffic right now. My guess, probably not great, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, if you ever wanted to book in a call with me, there's a link in the description down below and you can book into my calendar anytime. So let's jump right into the Ontario line and this is on the Metrolinx website. This is a massive project, 15 stops, just about 16 kilometers and 30 minutes to get from Exhibition to the Ontario Science Centre. This is a 15 stop subway line. It's also going to connect to the Line 1 subway. So let's talk about where this thing is going to stop and there are going to be 15 new stations. It's also going to connect with TTC's Line 1 and 2, the GO Train lines, and the Eglinton Crosstown LRT. It's really going to make the city connect from an east to west standpoint. So let's take a look at the map here, and we can see Line 1 is a big U that basically goes through the core of the city. And if you've ever tried to take the subway, you know that it's not very vast in terms of it only goes University and Young, and then it connects here at Bloor. So if you want to go north-south, you're pretty limited to Young and University. And if you want to go east-west, it is limited to Bloor Street. And it goes all the way across Bloor Street. But if you need to go east to west on any other of the major east-west streets, you're limited to streetcar access right now. With the Ontario Line, they're building a brand new exhibition go station. It's going to be pretty awesome, state of the art. This line is going to connect here, which has go train access. And then it's going to make its first stop, King and Bathurst, up to Queen and Spadina. And then it's going to hit Osgood Station. And this is going to connect you to TTC's Line 1. It's also going to hit the Queen Street Station, which is at Young Street, also on Line 1. Moss Park through Corktown into the distillery, and then it's going to hit the new East Harbor Station as well. From there, it's going to go north, and you can see here it's got eastern connections here, and it's going to go north through the DVP and all the way up to the Science Center. It's pretty vast project and I love how it's going east west when we talk about traffic King and Bathurst right now is ripped apart so is Adelaide there are streetcar tracks all through on the street right here Queen and Spadina all the way actually Queen going east is pretty much ripped apart as well and as we go along through the city there is construction everywhere to boot there's also a bunch of projects being built right now from a condo standpoint there's the massive well which is at front and Spadina which also connects to Wellington. There's multiple buildings going on there. So going north south on any of the streets right now has been pretty difficult, including going east west. So back on the Metrolinx page, you can see there's the west segment, which is from Exhibition to Queen Spadina, downtown, which is Osgood to Donyard, east segment, which is East Harbor to Pape, south and north from Pape to Science Center. So 15 stations. End-to-end -end journey time, 30 minutes or less. This is going to be pretty impressive, quite quick. Uh, there's going to be 40 connections, Lakeshore West, Lakeshore East, and Stouffville Go Train services, connections to TTC's Line 1 and 2 subways. It's going to hit Line 2 around Bloor Street. Connection to Line 5, which is the Eglinton Crosstown LRT, which has been undergoing construction for quite some time. And connections to streetcar lines all across the way. Route length is about 16 kilometers. They are predicting about 390,000 daily boardings. This will be pretty impressive if they do run every 90 seconds during rush hour. Here's a photo of the new exhibition station, which looks pretty awesome. And a rendering of the new Corktown station, which also looks great as well. So that's the Ontario line, and that's why traffic has been so nuts downtown. There is construction everywhere. At least they've gotten it started. I'm really curious to see how things progress. We all know that the LRT up at Eglinton hasn't exactly been the smoothest build. So hopefully the Ontario line goes a lot smoother. I'd love to hear your thoughts on if you think this Ontario line is actually going to help the traffic and the commuters downtown Toronto. Of course, it does not connect every single employee to where they need to get to work. 28,000 cars off the road would be very welcome though. As always, if you ever wanted to book in a call with me, hit the link in the description down below, book into my calendar anytime.